What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys haven't heard, IntelliScreen X has been updated for iOS 8. And IntelliScreen X is basically a notification center replacement that gives you a ton of information. And you can see right here, if I go ahead and pull down the notification center that you'll see all this information. We have our mail right up here, we have Game Center, we have Skype, Snapchat, basically everything that you would normally see right there in the notification center. You also have a little widget up here that is giving you the weather uh, of the current location that you're in. You also see right up here that we have tabs. So we can go to our mail tab right here and if we wanted to go through all of our mail or if we wanted to open something up, then we can go ahead and open that up and read through it. You can also see if we uh, tap on an email, you have reply, open, mark as read, or delete. So you can actually interact with your mail right there within the uh, notification center right here. Now if we tap on Twitter, you'll notice that we have our timeline. So you can see that we can access Twitter at any time right here in our notification center. And as you're scrolling through here, you can obviously just tap on that. You can open it, you can reply, you can retweet, or if there's a link inside of the tweet itself, you can tap on the link button right there and it's actually gonna open up that link. Now you'll notice a timeline button right here. So if we tap on timeline, it'll go directly over to mentions. So you can see it allows you to browse your mentions right here. Now if you wanna actually make a tweet, you'll notice a plus button right here. If we tap on that, then it'll give you a tweet button and you can tap on tweet and then you can just start to type out your tweet which I missed right there. So you just type something out just like that and then you tap tweet and then it's going to tweet. So we can tap on Facebook too if you have Facebook set up and it looks like I actually do, oh this is my iTweaks account. Uh, I've, I've friended a bunch of people that asked me to be friends on Facebook uh, on my iTweaks account. But you can see right here that Facebook is set up and allows you to do exactly the same stuff that you would be able to do on Facebook. So if you tap on a post then you can comment, you can like or you can open it up. Now we also have RSS feeds, so obviously this is gonna give you all of your RSS feeds. And you can see that we have the New York Times and technology going down, we have top stories in Google News, we have Yahoo, this is all standard and default. I didn't set this up at all, but I don't really use RSS feeds all that much, but you can see how exactly this works. If we tap on one, then it's going to open up, and you can see we get the read only, we don't have any ads or anything like that. We can go ahead and read through the article, and then once we're done, we just tap done, and then you're good to go. We also have the tab for today, which is obviously just the standard today tab that we usually get in our notification center. And you also notice right down here that we have another button, and this is actually Messages Plus. This is a tweak that comes with IntelliScreen X, and it allows you to quickly compose a text just by tapping that button right there. So if we wanted to send out a text, then we can do so right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that. And if we swipe up, we can also access this on the lock screen. So let's go ahead and go to the lock screen here. And you can see if we swipe from the right, then we have all of our buttons. So we have close, we have home, mail, Twitter, Facebook, and RSS feeds right here. So let's go ahead and open that up one more time and tap on home. And you can see what that does. Basically gives you that first tab that you get in your notification center. Now if we swipe over again, you'll also notice that we have Twitter and Facebook scrolling through right up there. Let's open that up again. And we'll tap on email. And you can see that it's gonna give us our email. Of course, we tap on Twitter, then it's gonna give us our Twitter feed, and you still have the same functionality that you had within the notification center, Facebook, and RSS feeds right here. Now, another really cool thing about IntelliScreen X is Slide. And if you pull down from the top left-hand corner, this is Slide. It gives you the last eight recent applications that you've been in and allow you to quickly open those up just by pulling down on the left top-hand corner of the screen. So if you wanted to open up any of these applications, you would just tap on the application, and it's gonna slide right in. If we hit the home button, it's gonna slide back, and we can pull down this, and you can actually slide these over as well. So if you don't want to actually open it up or you're trying to take a peek at something, then you can do so just by doing that right there. So let's go ahead and open up a few applications here. We'll open up YouTube, and then let's pull down slide again. We'll open up Reddit right there, and then we'll pull down it again, and we'll open up, let's do settings. So now you'll notice that this is actually layering one over the other. So if you push the home button, you're actually not gonna to go to the home screen. It's gonna slide back the application. So if we go ahead and hit the home button, you can see it slide to Reddit, and then slide to YouTube, and then lastly, to our springboard. So you can layer those just like that. Now something else that you can do with slide, if we go ahead and pull this down, let's just say that we always wanna have Reddit in slide, or this is actually Alien Blue. So let's go ahead and tap and hold, and when we pull it up to the top, you'll notice that there's actually a line right under. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right under uh, 
the application that I'm holding, the Alien Blue client. So if we let go and we hit the home button, now Reddit is going to be at the very top of slide every single time that I use it. Now you'll notice right below here that we have settings, we have YouTube, Gmail, all that good stuff. So if we go ahead and open up one of these, you'll notice that it'll go directly under Alien Blue rather than going up to the top. So it's going to be the most recent, but it's not ever going to surpass Alien Blue. So if we tap on settings and then we pull down slide, you can see that it went under Alien Blue. And if we open up YouTube, then you'll see that it went right under Alien Blue and not above it. So that's basically all that this does. Now one thing to mention is that the home screen slide is actually different from the lock screen slide. So this would obviously be the home screen slide because it's on the home screen. And if we go to the lock screen here, you'll notice that if we pull down on the top left hand corner that we don't have Alien Blue right up here at the top. And that's because you can actually set these separately. So you can have something different on the home screen as well as something different on the lock screen. So if we wanted to put you know, the IntelliScreen X settings up here at the top, you see that little line right under there, and then we'll set that, and then you can see that it's actually set. So we're gonna hit the home button, and now that's set. So if we go ahead and open up settings here, let's go ahead and put in our passcode, it's gonna open up the settings. And if we go back to the home screen here, you can see if we pull down, that IntelliScreen X is right up there at the top. So that's gonna be the sticky on the uh, lock screen here. Now something else here on the lock screen is Messages Plus right down here in the bottom left hand corner. So if we tap on that, then it's obviously going to give us the ability to quickly compose a message right there from the lock screen. So let's go ahead and unlock this and we'll quickly go through some of the settings just because there's a ton of settings. Now you can go through the application icon itself on the springboard or you can go through the settings here. We're just gonna go through the settings. It opens up the exact same settings panel. So we're gonna go into IntelliScreen X. Now right up here at the top we have enabled as well as enabled on lock screen. So enabled obviously is going to enable the tweak. This is going to enable it on the lock screen. Now right below that we have visible IntelliScreen X pages. So you can see that we have the notification center right up here at the top. Then we have mail, Twitter, Facebook, RSS feed. So if you don't actually want one of these, so something that I wouldn't use is Facebook, then I would tap on edit and then I would tip, grab this little grabber and then bring it down to the hidden IntelliScreen X pages. So now you can see if we tap done and we pull this down, we're not gonna see Facebook up there anymore. So that's not gonna be included in IntelliScreen X. Now right down here we have lock screen dim, which I recommend doing a little bit higher just because 15 seconds isn't quite long enough to do what you wanna do with IntelliScreen X on your lock screen. Right below that we have lock screen blur, we have date label always white, so you can toggle that on if you want to. You can enable the weather, the weather widget that I was showing you earlier, you can disable that as well. You can show the today page in the notification center or get rid of that. Right below that we have the ticker, we have music controls and HUD alerts, so you can set up your HUD settings right here for the ticker, music controls and alerts. And then right down here we have lock display behavior. So you can enable it immediately on lock or you can return to home screen after a 10 second dim. Now right down here we have the slide settings, so this is just the slide settings for this tweak right here. And you can obviously enable it or disable it. You can enable it on the lock screen, you can whitelist applications, you can use default slide gesture or you can set your own activator gesture to show or hide the uh, slide right here. So if you don't like the slide down from the top left hand corner then you can change that up just by tapping on this and then setting up whatever activator gesture that you'd like. Now right down here we have status bar icon, so we have missed calls, unread, SMS messages or unread mails as well as silent mode. So you can see right up here that I have text messages as well as unread mail. So if I toggle these off, you'll notice that that goes away and then unread SMS, you can see that that goes away. So you can enable those or disable those just depending on your preference and what you like up in your status bar. Right down here we have messages plus compose so you can get rid of that compose button if you want to which is that button right down here. So it's not there anymore and this is also available on the lock screen which I already showed you. And then right down here we have Messages Plus settings. So you can enable this or not, and you can uh, show on lock screen if you want to, and also manual banner dismiss for notifications. Right down here we have Messages Plus activation, so you can tap on this and you can actually use an activation method if you want to use an activation to quickly compose a message. And then also you have help and support right down here. So that's a quick rundown of the settings in IntelliScreen X. I probably could have gone into a little bit more detail in the settings, but Again, I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. So I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what the settings are like and show you all the functionality of the tweak. So let me know what you guys think about IntelliScreen X on iOS 8. Is this a tweak that you guys are gonna be picking up or are you gonna rely on other tweaks and other applications 
for this information. Let me know in the comments below if you guys plan on picking this up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And as always, if you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.